Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the crease option. So in geometry, we have uh, a section called crease. So it uh, automates uh, the crease uh, for your model. So what is crease actually is uh, when you subdivide any model or smooth mesh it, uh, it generally becomes more round. Uh, it's not, I mean, if I have to keep sharp lines anywhere, it's not really doing that job. So I'm going to use uh, uh, um, Z modeler and then start adding a few lines there. And then when I subdivide it, you're able to see that, uh, uh, you know, crease line is making that corner sharp and the opposite side, it's not doing that. So I'm just uh, undoing this and just removing it or I just press undo to retain back to my original model. Now uh, we have this crease option where uh, there are, I mean, crease all, crease and crease uh, polygroup. So there are three different types. So when I pe uh, press crease all, uh, no matter which edge you have selected or not, uh, the crease has applied to everything here. Okay. Uh, but when I put a crease button, uh, it is working only on some lines which are basically breaking the shape and uh, also working on certain algorithms and preferences. And you should able to see there is an angle of 45 or tolerance value of 45. So here the angle between uh, these edges is 90, which is above my tolerance value. Suppose if this angle is below my tolerance value, for example, if I give a value of 91 degrees, okay, and then when I apply a uh, crease, I don't get any creasing happening here. So the tolerance value, okay, uh, should be less than my actual angle of, uh, you know, polygons. So when I do that, you should be able to see now crease is applied. So that's one thing. And we have a crease level, uh, which is 15. So when I put this value to two, when I subdivide it, let's say uh, three times, okay one two three four now after three you should able to see the creasing is not really working i mean let me just go back now you should able to see i'm pressing divide one two three now this time you should able to see there is a break in the shape because my crease level is three so let me undo it back again and then put the crease level to one only divide it and then second time you, you start getting the roundness applied to your model so uh, this level is like when is till how many subdivision levels this crease has to trigger is what it is about. Uh, we have a uncrease all option. So when you press that, all the creases which we have applied will go away. Uh, we can apply crease in this way also, like making a set of polygons visible and then apply crease. Then the crease is applied to the model, which is visible and uh, on the lower side you don't see. You can check by dividing this model and you should be able to see that. Let me increase the uh, crease level to 5 and then press Ctrl D. And you should be able to see the upper part is more sharp and the lower part is more rounder. So uh, we have uh, uh, the, I mean, let me try uh, crease all by keeping the points visible. And uh, now it's working with this edges also, but again, it's only working on the visible faces. Okay. So uh, both these options are working for visible uh, uh, faces, but uh, crease all is for all edges, no matter what is the angle tolerance and all. But this button is especially working with the tolerance intact, I mean, with the tolerance value. Uh, I'll just uh, check one more option here. So I'm applying the crease and when I uh, click the uncrease button, it's not really working. Let me just uh, make this uh, model visible and then uncrease it. Now I should be able to see the uncreasing happen to the border of uh, this model. Uh, let me try this on this part. Okay. So I'm applying uh, the crease. Okay. Then when I hit uncrease, it's not really working. I'll ap apply crease all actually. Now let me uh, do it once again. Now when I say uncrease, uh, sorry, uncrease. Uh, it has actually increased only to the border of the visible face faces. Let me try uh, with this faces here. Though the creasing is there on all sides, I'm just working on the visibility aspect. Okay. Now, when I say increase, now you should be able to see it has increased only to the border of that visible faces. It's not touched this side and that side. You can check that by dividing. You should be able to see that thick lines happening, and here in the middle there is no thick line. 
really working so increase is only for that purpose so if i have to increase everything just hit this button there uh, we have uh, increased the poly group and it's uh, self explanatory i am actually uh, So I've uh, you know polygrouped these four faces. The when I pre I, I apply the crease polygroup, it's applying to the border of the polygroup, and also you can do increase uh, of the polygroups here. Here we have a bevel option in the crease. So whichever creases are uh, whichever lines are creased, uh, when we apply bevel, you get that uh, lines beveled, and uh, you have a proportional width option. Uh, when you enable that, uh, the uh, edges on all sides i mean all creases the bevel width will straight uh, in equal proportions or they try to maintain the size uh, you can check that uh, here sometimes it's becoming thin uh, sometimes it's thick uh, when i enable this option it is trying to maintain that uh, proportionals uh, we have the bevel width here and we have uh, the resolution option where it's adding the lines and also we have the edge sharpness where you are trying to uh, move the edges uh, to the sides and give more sort of uh, linear or exponential fall off or in, in the arrangement. So uh, these are all options we have in the bevel.